All right, so today I got something that's a little bit different and uh, I have an old iPod. Uh, iPod Touch or Video or Classic, whatever they call it. It's a 30 gig iPod, iPod if you can kind of see that a little bit. Um, it's actually engraved uh, with some stuff, but we're not gonna talk about that. But I decided, hey, let's try to get a new battery for this thing and let's see how it works or if it turns back on. I don't know. I got an old 30 pin connector that I use for my old Toyota Tundra that has like a USB that plugs in like this, but the 30 pin still works. So if I get it back working, I'm probably gonna order a new one. But stay tuned, let's check it out. Let's see if we can get it working, open it up and uh, have a little fun. Thing we're going to need that we we're probably going to need to hold it open and all is maybe some of these things um we're going to look and see and i got it kind of came with the kit a little bit um i don't know if it's focusing too much this is my old one it's not too great it doesn't do too great but it's a little kit that i have um has some screwdrivers and stuff a bit but this is what I have that was ordered. I'll link the description. Uh, I'll do a link in the description. So if you want to do the same thing, if you have an old one laying around, you just want to kind of renew. But what comes in this thing, all right, let's look at it real quick. It comes with a new sponge. Uh, so it's a little bit better on the end than my old one. Actually two of them as well. Uh, comes with the battery, of course. So, I don't know if you can see that. A little strip, not too bad. I definitely think it's the battery. When I go to plug it in, it keeps saying it's a very low battery, very low battery. You can have it plugged in for hours to just it's not hold a charge anymore, by the way. So, that's what we want to try to fix and open it up and just change the battery and see if that works. So, that being said, let's get into it. All right, so with that being said, let's kind of get into it and kind of... um see if we can get this battery changed out so the first thing we're going to do is try to get up underneath here and kind of pull that out a little bit and then see if I can get closer for y'all then just try to work that out get the other pry tool in there and it just kind of pops as you can hear you can see I kind of got it it's been a little difficult oh there we go heard that pop oh another pop I think it just all popped at that point so whenever you do get it all out if you can see on all the edges I'll try to give y'all a little view on all the edges see if I can so all the edges are done at that point you want to be careful because there's a ribbon cable that's at the corner okay. you don't want to rip that out it's usually on the bottom left i want to say i'm going to try to do this slow guys i know you can barely see but so right here you can see that little ribbon cable down below is what you got to do is you got to put this little small one in there and kind of go up on it. Let me see if I get my tweezers. It might actually be better to get in there. Yeah, that kind of gets in there and lifts up a little bit. There we go. And that should just come out. Once that comes out, then you can do this. So the problem with that is, though, you got to be careful. Looks like there's two ribbon cables that's actually undone so I have to put that ribbon cable back in and I gotta find out where to put that ribbon cable back at okay so that being said let me show you all this so right here there's a little tab and that kind of came loose I think the tab came up I don't know if it was 
due to my prying or just being, you know, 30 years old. I don't know, 20, 30 years old. But all you had to do is put that ribbon cable back, shut the tab back down, and that goes back in. Now, this is the ribbon cable that's going to be replaced. Like, this connects to the battery. And then we have another battery that should be the same direct replacement. We'll put that in and then we'll put um, back in the tab and we'll show you that in a minute. We'll put this back in. This is the screen. So that's back in there. And if you look, if I can focus a little bit, right here is a little tab. I don't know if it'll focus, but there's a little tab, and all you got to do once you put the little ribbon cable in there is push it down, and it should be done. So we'll be back in a second and show you that. So I kind of loosened this up a little bit before out of the video because I was wanting to really take my time with this. But really all you do, because I didn't know if this was connected, this part was connected but it didn't look to be connected. Then you got this side as well. It just kind of lays down. So once you get that, kind of just push it back down to the adhesive and that's it. This is the, the old battery. It looks a little swollen. So it definitely could be the battery. So we take the new one out. We'll put it in. All right. So then we're gonna put this in. Usually, I think going from this side might be the best. And then just kind of push that in. Should fit right in there pretty snug. Okay. So now, got this ribbon cable. Got this ribbon cable. It's snug. It's put back in there. Everything's back like it was. And what we do is when we fold it back up, we're going to put this ribbon cable this ribbon cable to this slot right here and then push down. Check it once you get get in there. I'm going to try to see if I get a closer look for y'all so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so you, if you look really close in there, there's a little tab. And that little tab is you, you put the ribbon cable in there and then you push down on that tab. And after that, you can close it on up. All right, once you get that tab, you kind of just put it back in. You hear all the clicks. Make sure it's clicked, sealed all the way around. Make sure everything is clicked. So at that point, we have a new battery, old battery out, new battery in. Let's test it out and let's see if this thing works. All right, I'm gonna to try to use this and kind of set y'all down and see if we can get this plugged in and see if we can give y'all a look. Let's see what it says. Oh, I got an Apple logo. Oh, saying connect the computer now. And bright screen, everything's back on. Connect to your computer, use iTunes to restore. So, Gonna give that a try and let's uh let's see how it works. But so far, that's better than what it has been. All right, so I plugged it at the computer, download iTunes, but it wouldn't really show anything on iTunes. So what I did is I disconnected that, let it charge up for a little bit, and as you can see, it has a red little little. You can see that spot with the hold button. So I would turn it on to that, and it just turned on with all what music I have and everything. So I kind of still got to look at to see. How am I going to put music on this thing? Um, but there is some music that I already have, just to kind of show you all a little bit of, little bit of music. I also have a movie that I still have on this thing. I'll show you all that. Super bad. Not the best quality, but man, funny movie. I liked it. But um, yeah, as you can see, it works. Everything works great. 
I will call it success and I'll try to get some music out of this and maybe throw this into the tundra every once in a while, keep my phone free a little bit. So, all right, thanks for joining in, guys. I appreciate it and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you the next time around.